Hi, this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I'd like to show you Peter Pan. It's a new colouring book. It's by retold the original story by James Barry, illustrated by Fabiano Atanzio, and you might have also seen the Alice in Wonderland colouring book by the same illustrator. And just like the Alice in Wonderland book, it comes with a lovely poster that you can remove at the back. So we'll check that out in a minute. So a lovely printed colour. It's glossy. It's got some pre-printing colour on there. Very nice with a lovely fold-out cover. On the inside card, we've got all the little toys and whatnot. And I love Peter Pan. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I love Peter Pan. I love all fairy tales, I think. And we've got this lovely stars on the inside cover. Very plain title page. Now, just like the Alice in Wonderland book, this contains an abridged story of Peter Pan, which is just five pages long, and it's got some lovely little elements on there that you can colour in as well. So this is the story component, and then afterwards is the colouring book component, and then at the end is a lovely poster. Now, the paper is white. It's been printed on both sides of the paper, the paper quality is very good. I would describe it as medium weight, uh, if not a little bit more. It's very good quality paper and it looks like it will hold uh, pencils really well. It's quite smooth to the touch and there's some lovely designs here. They're printed on both sides and I think this is the first Peter Pan book that I've got so maybe we'll see some more Peter Pan books uh, in the future. Some of the illustrations run right down to the spine, whereas others are nicely positioned on the page for colouring. I'm just going to flip through the rest of the book so you can enjoy it. And at the end I'm going to show you that lovely pull-out poster that's absolutely massive. Now at the end we've got this lovely pull-out poster. It's the back of the book is bound down by a sticker so we just have to very carefully remove the sticker without damaging the poster that's within it and then we fold out the card cover. We've got more stars and this poster is glued to the back so there's two daubs of glue gum which I'm carefully pulling out the poster and so we've got a little bit of gum on there that you can just wriggle off with your finger so it comes off pretty quickly and then we fold out the lovely poster now the poster is huge and we're not going to be able to fit it all in the screen I know this from experience pulling out the Alice in Wonderland poster so 
The paper quality on it is lovely. It's white and it's a medium quality paper weight. And here we have it. Absolutely massive. So that's the top half. So I'll just see if I can uh, zoom out a little bit. Nope. So, and then we go down. Now I'm guessing, but I don't know for sure because I've just opened it, that this is about a metre long. So we've got the lovely crocodile down the bottom. We've got some pirate ship. We've got uh, Peter Pan, Wendy and Tinkerbell up the top. And wouldn't this be great? Coloured in and put in a child's bedroom. Absolutely gorgeous and a lovely touch by the publishers and the artist to include something nice like this at the end of the book. Nice surprise. <coughs> it does, however, make the weight of the book heavier than other books, so just bear that in mind if you're paying for shipping. And that's it for Peter Pan. I hope you enjoyed this lovely colouring book review. And one of the great things about colouring is, of course, we can enjoy all those fairy tales of our childhood, but this time we get to focus and maybe have better pencils. Until next time, happy colouring.